So, Cut, we're really excited to talk about Windows 10 Phone. We released it recently, uh, so it's still early. This is the first build that we've released publicly. However, we expect to have some great new features that are added in the, uh, going forward. Um, the, the highlights that are in this build are, one, you'll notice that coming from Windows 8, uh, we've now added a, uh, you, we've allowed you to personalize it even better by having a screen that wraps around the entire shell. So as you'll notice as I scroll, the live tiles, you can see through them, they're a little more transparent, and we've got a beautiful image sitting behind them. So really, really personal, allows you to make it your own. Secondly, and coming from Windows 8, we've allowed you to take some of the applications, or, or all of our live tiles, and we've added new sizes to them. So if you'll notice, on Windows 8, I only have a few things that I can do. On Windows 10, we realized that we wanted to give people a little more flexibility to, uh, to, to customize their sizes. So with the People app, we have taken, uh, in fact, let me just grab the People app real quick. because. The People app, we've allowed many more sizes. So way, way customizable lets you interact in whatever way you want to. It just gives you a lot of flexibility as to how you uh, how you want to have your experience on the, the phone itself. Another couple of things though, you notice in Windows 8, I only can have up to five quick actions. Windows 10, we, we took all the our customer feedback and realized people wanted more, more at quick actions. So we've actually added up to 12 that you can interact with, which is super, super nice. Allows you to do things quicker, be more productive. Additionally, we realized that, uh, as you'll notice on Windows 8, right now I can either clear all of my notifications or just a, or, or, or either all or none. On Windows 10, I can actually clear them once uh, at one at a time. So if my mom sends me a text, I don't really feel like responding, I don't have to. If my wife texts me, I can save it, I can leave it right there. I'll know to give her a call back soon. Uh, so a couple of great things, but one of the other things we're super proud of is that we're converging our operating system across all device types. So from the PC to the phone is a, is a similar experience. The first thing I'll call out is our, is, our, is our action center. Our action center is strikingly similar. It's super familiar to what you've got on the phone. Additionally, as you'll notice, I've got settings pulled up. If I go to settings on, on this device, I'm gonna have the same icons and a very, very familiar experience. So look at that. I mean, if you know it on the PC, you're gonna know it on the phone. It's a super easy transition. It's extremely familiar. There's one other thing I wanna call out though, and that's our universal apps. What we've done is we've created universal apps that allow you to have a similar experience no matter what device you're on. So if you notice apps are your photos on here, if I pull up in my photos app on my phone, you're looking at a strikingly, strikingly familiar experience. If I open the drop down, I open the hamburger menu here, we're looking at virtually the same thing. So again, if you're familiar with the Windows 7 or Windows 8 device, you know Windows 10, you're gonna get it on the phone. Really, really easy to use and great for developers who are building apps that scale across any device type, any surface area. Stuff we're very, very proud of. The last thing I'll call out, we added Cortana to the PC. It came from Windows Phone 8, we brought it to the PC, and now we're allowing them to talk to one another. So, as Steven mentioned today, if I set a reminder in my Windows 10 device, it's actually gonna sync to Cortana on my phone. So if I say, hey, Cortana, remind me to grab milk from the store on the way home, using location settings, I can even have Cortana help remind me to grab milk when I'm near the grocery store. So, we're still early, we're really excited about the progress we've made, we hope you guys keep checking back in, download Windows 10 when it's available for your device, and, uh, and please give us feedback, let us know how we can, we can make it better. Windows are due to be fully rolled out? We're going to roll it out later this year.